Week two of the season for Ohio football. Time for the other Mike segment in advance of Ohio and Akron. Brought to you by the Athens Area Union Building Trades. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats, joined by longtime and highly esteemed color analyst on Akron Radio and TV, Joe Dunn. Joe, how are you? I'm doing great. About 70 degree uh, weather up here in northeastern Ohio. I'm sure it's a lot warmer down in Athens, but we're doing fine today. Beautiful day in advance of getting to week number two of this six game sprint of a season. Before we get into thoughts on where the zips are right now, what has the offseason been like for you and, and for covering zips football? Well, as uh, everybody knows, this COVID has put everything into a totally different state. We were just looking forward to playing football. Then we had no football. Now we do have football. Of course, we've covered a lot of high school football up in Northeastern Ohio, but they have the Mid-American Conference back. I think it's a, it's a plus. It's like icing on the cake, something I don't think we expected. Obviously, the numbers speak for themselves, and it's an 18-game losing streak here for the Zips and um, an 0-12 season last year. And Trying to stay positive through all of that has to be incredibly difficult for everybody involved. But but what's it like for this program right now with those stats just kind of hanging over things uh, in everything that's done? Well, obviously, it's not easy. I just got done talking to Tom Arth, taping our weekly TV show, and he remains very positive. Uh, he felt like he brought in some new players that are going to make the Zips better. And I think the Zips are better this year. They showed a lot in that first half that we didn't see last year. The running game is better. Uh, the offensive line potentially is going to be very good. They started four freshmen in the offensive line against Western Michigan. Now, they're going to be good. Whether they'll be good this year remains to be seen. But there's kind of an upbeat feeling that this program is on the upswing. Uh, he's had a couple of good recruiting years. Uh, so let's see what happens. It's six games. I think they'd be happy if they can get out of uh, this year with one or two wins and build toward next season. Yeah, and, and Zips football has won before. The, uh, there was a 2006 title there, and Infocision's a beautiful stadium. It, it, it's a tough time for everybody with COVID and, and dealing with everything. It, it's kind of like a bit of a double whammy with, with, unfortunately, the lack of success recently for the Zips. And then, sure. oh, by the way, COVID comes through it. That balance has to be very difficult. Exactly. But you hit the nail on the head, Russ. This is a program that's won before. This is a team not too many years ago that beat Pitt at Pitt. A couple of years ago, beat Northwestern at Northwestern. Won a bowl game against Utah State. And a few years before that, went uh, one play, almost beating Michigan and Ann Arbor. So they've tasted success. But as you well know, it's the continuity, building from year to year. We just haven't had that. Yeah, and it's difficult, especially with financial restraints and, and health limitations right. and all of that. Um, from a player standpoint, though, who sticks out to you that Bobcat fans will uh, have catch their eye in the game on Tuesday night? Well, Rush, he's not very big, but he is the uh, unbelievable football player. That's Bubba Arcelanian, uh, about 5'10", uh, maybe 205 pounds. He had 11 tackles against Western Michigan. Uh, he's just all over the place. And Coach Arf says it doesn't matter whether it's practice or games. He plays at the same intensive level every time he takes the field. Now, he's number 27. You'll see him. He'll be in on about every tackle. Uh, he's uh, he's a miniature linebacker, but he's tough as nails. So he's one to watch. Yeah, it, it it's difficult to uh, balance everything and still try to propel a program forward through COVID. And it was it was a, a tough watch, obviously, last year. Uh, and I know Zip fans hope for improvement in the future, too. Uh, and for you, what's it been like through broadcasting high school football and covering everything through uh, this COVID situation? I, I would imagine broadcasting now uh, high school sports and covering sports in Northeast Ohio, uh, and you've done it for uh, many, many years. What's that whole experience been like for you, not only covering Akron football now, but but covering high school football throughout your area? Well, I live just south of Akron in Stark County, which is a hotbed. We have the Pro Football Hall of Fame here. We have some of the best high school football in the state with uh, Maslin and Maslin Perry and North Canton Hoover and Lake and all those federal league teams. So uh, that's kind of taken my mind off not having Mid-American Conference football. In fact, tonight in Stark County, it's one of the biggest games in the state. You've got Maslin taking on Perry. So everybody's excited about that. And that's kind of kept me active. I do a, a podcast every day and a weekly TV show with high school teams. So 
sell a lot of the inventory we've got in our company. So it's kept me busy, but there's nothing like Mid-American Conference football. I'm glad it's back. Well, Joe, looking forward to seeing you on Tuesday night. Thanks for your time. Okay, Russ, always fun to talk to you, buddy. We'll see you on Tuesday. That's Joe Don, the longtime and outstanding analyst on Akron Radio. And that's the other Mike segment, supported by the Athens Area Union Building Trades. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.